Welcome to the Open Smoke Whiskey Reviews. My name is Brent, and if this is your first time watching the channel and you're into whiskey, please consider hitting that subscribe button with a notification bell. That way you'll be notified of new uploads and live streams. All right, guys, today we have the Stag Junior Batch 12. This is their newest release. They are releasing these in the spring and in the fall. This one was released a little bit late. Um, they just released this one this summer. I've had this about three weeks. Um, been enjoying it, trying to share it with, with some friends and let the bottle open up a little bit before I review this for you guys. Uh, this is a limited edition barrel proof bourbon. It's George T. Stagg's little brother and it's a blend of eight and nine year bourbon whiskeys. It consists of the Buffalo Trace Mash Bill 1, which is a low rye. The ABV on this is 66.15%. And the proof is 132.3, so it is bringing the heat. Definitely a high proof barrel strength whiskey. And the, I guess the average retail price is around 60 bucks, if you can find it for that. Um, the bottling on this is super simple, super sleek. It's got the George T. Stagg horns on it. Um, and on the back, it has a little backstory talking about um, George T. Stagg. Um, the batches, this is the batch 12. The batches are, the only way I've found out to identify the different batches is by the proof. Um, you can look on the inter internet and do some research and it's pretty easy to find out which, um, which batch you have got your hands on. With that being said, we'll get into the color, nose, and taste of this whiskey. All right, the color. The color is... A dark copper, a dark copper, a dark amber color. Um, it's kind of dark. It's coating the glass fairly well, fairly viscous. It's it's got nice thick legs on it, coating the glass well. Nice color on the whiskey. Looks like it has very nice viscosity. Let's get into the nose of this whiskey. All right, on the nose. First impressions on the nose. Like I said, I did let this open up in the glass um, for about 15 minutes before I shot this review. There's still a little bit of alcohol there on, on the nose. Um, and if you're not in, if you if you haven't, if you're not used to high proof whiskeys, you're definitely going to get a lot of alcohol in the nose. I like barrel strength stuff, so. Um, I probably am a little more acclimated to the higher proof stuff, um, but there is still a little bit of alcohol in the nose, but it's mostly just a chocolate, a nice cherry note, brown sugar, a nice oak note is on this whiskey also, a little bit of a smoky oak note. The chocolate and cherry is really coming through on this one. It also has a nice little spicy clove note. And it's got a smokiness to it. I don't know if it's from the barrel char or what, what number of char they put on the barrels, but you can definitely get the char note on the nose on this whiskey. A little bit of oak, that char note's present. But it's mostly just chocolates, cherries, brown sugars, cloves, a little bit of smokiness to it from the, I guess from the barrel stage. Brown sugar, a little bit of spice, maybe pepper. And I'll guess this once again, for 132.3 proof bourbon barrel strength whiskey, the alcohol is not punching you in the face really. Nice chocolate notes. Once again, chocolate, cherries, brown sugar. A little bit of cloves, a nice smokiness to it. Um, the smokiness, once again, is coming from the barrel stage. Don't know what chars on the barrels, but it's definitely there. A nice oak note. And the chocolate note is really ringing through. Um, the chocolate and the cherries and the brown sugar is really there. 
followed up with that oaky smoke note that's very nice. Very nice nose on this whiskey. Let's get into the taste. All right, let's get into the taste. Cheers. All right, on the front of the palate, it's a little, there's a little bit of alcohol sense there. Um, mid palate though, it goes into a nice chocolate note. Cherries, brown sugars. The finish is still going. A little bit of clove, maybe even. And at the back, on the very finish, there's that nice charred oak note that is very nice in, in cherries. Like a deep, deep cherry note on this, on the first sip. Very nice first sip. And the finish is super long on this, guys. It's a very viscous, coats the mouth very well. Let's go in for another sip. Cheers. All right. The, the alcohol presence on the front of the palate is tamed down. It goes into a dense, dense dark chocolate, brown sugar, cherry note on the mid palate. It kind of finishes off with a little bit of clove and a little bit of uh, spiciness to it, like a Christmas spice with a nice charred oak note. Um, I don't know what the char they're putting on the barrels for, for the Stag Junior is, but the, the barrel char, the smokiness to it, um, is definitely prevalent on the finish. Maybe a little bit cherry there on the finish. Very nice, very long finish. Excellent sip right there. Um, it's and it's been kind of consistent. Um, the first sip, there was a little bit more alcohol presence, which to be expected, the palate is acclimating to the whiskey. Second sip, the alcohol dwindled down. Let's see if the third does. Cheers. All right, very nice, very consistent. The alcohol's on the front of the palate is pretty much gone now, or tamed down dramatically. A little bit of sweetness enters on the front of the palate, then it goes into a dark, deep, rich chocolate note and cherry that kind of lingers on through the whole thing. Then it kind of goes to the end of the palate on the finish it goes into the cherry and chocolate still there. There's a little spiciness in that smoky barrel aspect to it. It just finishes off nicely. And uh, the chocolate note is very dense, deep, and rich. And the cherry is also. It, 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 this is giving you great, bold, dense, deep, and rich flavors in this pour. Um, it, it, it's, it's very... And for 132.3 proof whiskey, you would think it would just be wanting to beat you up. And if and if you aren't used to drinking high proof whiskeys, it probably will. But um, it it definitely delivers dense, deep, rich flavors that are very nice, very very nice. There's nothing light and pretty about this, to say the least. But the flavors it are, is giving you are very nice. The chocolates, the cherries, the cloves that charred smokiness that it has aspect that it has very very nice i really enjoy this pour um with that being said i'll get into my final thoughts of the stag jr all right my final thoughts on this bourbon whiskey right here i think it's a great great pour it delivers deep dark rich nice flavors at a great price if you can find it for 60 bucks um I, I do know the secondary, this is very allocated. I do know the secondary on this is, 
like it is on most allocated Buffalo Trace products, ridiculous. But if you can find this, and I do think you can, you, you may have to do a little searching, but it is out there and it is available. It's way more available than the George C. Stag. My, like I said, my final thoughts on this, I think it's a great pour. And for 60 bucks, you can't go wrong with this one. With that being said, we're going to wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you much, so much for the support if you're a subscriber. And if you're not a subscriber, hey, consider hitting that subscribe button, guys. Until next time, cheers.